Greetings, everyone. This is a report on Imam Khalil al-Bas, who many of you know were attacked by Muslim radicals two days ago as he was coming out of the mosque. He's the last one out because he's the Imam in Tel Sheba in Israel. And our dear friend Khalil al-Bas, the bear of a human being with a beautiful heart, was set upon by many men, fought back and was stabbed five times while they were trying to drag him into a dark corner to shoot him. And people want to know, well, what's the work of the Abrahamic reunion? And our work is to keep the message of peace alive. It's very intimidating. It's very frightening to have our dear friends and colleagues, people I've known for 20 and 25 years, get assaulted because they stand up for peace and they stand up for the harmony of humanity. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous. So be prepared because I'm going to ask for support because we've got to continue our work. And it takes energy and it takes love and prayer and it takes money. And Khalil wants us to grow bigger, to get the message out stronger, that none of these actions can stop us that this work is not done in vain. We're starting to have success. And if we weren't starting to have success, we wouldn't be attacked like this. But we appeal to people's dignity, to people's decency and humanity, to their heart of hearts, their souls. And people are responding. People are responding. Larger groups of people are responding. So if you want to send money, this is the time to do it. Not a nickel goes to waste. We have no high administrative salaries or big fundraising costs. We have none of that. The money goes to promote our message of peace, of decency, of love for human beings, all human beings. And it's a message also of forgiveness. And of course, we forgive those who blindly attacked our dear Khalil al-Bas. But you know what? We need to keep pushing harder and harder and harder. We need to really keep getting this message out to people. People in the Holy Land. It's a holy place. We need to make it clear and untarnished by violence. So if you can, send something. We really are going to start an even larger campaign if we get the funding. Send something. And Khalil's going to be okay. Now, one of the knife wounds punctured an organ or a vital spot. He's going to be okay. It's traumatized, but he's going to be okay. So don't let this be in vain. Don't let it be for waste. Really, give us a hand now. Thank you. Love, blessings, and forgiveness to all of us. Bye-bye.